Basically, yeah, Xander. How do you feel about it? I haven't watched it yet. Oh. I figured we could watch it together. Oh, yeah. Alright, then come over here. This is cool. Professor Layton music that makes you feel like a villain. Hmm? You didn't like the villain in the game? Really cool animations. There's one word that really describes Sonic and the Black Knight, and that word is... Yeah. It's actually a bit more of a guttural sound now that I think about it, so I'm glad you're going to get the full meaning from this video review. Gamers who grew up with Sonic have waited a long, long time for a true update to those classic games that were so fast and intense. And frankly, they're going to keep waiting. <laughs> to be fair though, Sega did come pretty close with Sonic Unleashed. The daytime portions of that game were fast and furious, set in 3D, and they did harken back to those ideals established long ago. The problem though was that Sonic turned into a werehog at night, and that just wasn't any fun. <laughs> I'll tell you what though, yeah. I'll take those werehog missions any day of the week over the entire experience of Sonic and the Black Knight. A mishmash of boring, clunky game design that's going to leave you wondering what the hell happened to your favorite mascot. Black Knight sure, is of course inspired by Sonic's he's using his sword. game set to the storybook setting in the past, and this time around you go back to the Knights of the Round Table armed with a sword and you clash with King Arthur himself. Now your first impression of this game might actually be good because it, it wrong, does have high production values and they can trick you. There's a great variety of crisp, really well choreographed cutscenes, all rendered beautifully. Additionally, there are dozens of mid-level story sequences, all of them very, very stylized and all of them brought to life with very well done voice work. Okay, it's actually a bit campy and it's a bit overbaked, but I can tell that a lot of effort went into it. Yeah, but it's not over yet. The title uses Wi-Fi connection for a full online leaderboard ranking system for most of the levels. There's even a fun treasury mode where you can collect items you've gained in the adventure mode and trade them with friends over Wi-Fi connection. On top of everything else, there's a welcome gallery. Don't go away, we're not done yet. Of art from the I just have to make sure my thing fans. And there's also noodles. renders for the game, and there's even bios for your favorite characters. Definitely some great fan service going on, and it's all brought together by a great menu system that looks very stylized, like something right out of King Arthur's era. And of course, those production values spill over into the game engine itself. This is one of the prettier games on Nintendo's system. The graphics are really good, really detailed, really stylized, and glowing with a host of visual effects. There's really nothing lazy at all about the game. It actually feels like a lot of work went into making the title. But as soon as you sit down and actually play it, you're going to want to kill yourself. There are two gameplay modes in Black Knight. There's the adventure, and that's the main single-player component. Then you have the battle mode, which is so impossibly bad, I'm only going to mention it for a second. Yeah, the battle mode Here, you bad. and up to three friends <laughs> compete in an arena-style battle against each other or against a group of enemies. And as you can see, the characters, even Sonic, move around like tanks for no particular reason whatsoever. What you see here is what you get. It's dated design, it's painfully boring, and you will hate it. <laughs> then there's the adventure portion, which plays like a Sonic the Hedgehog game. If, that is, you took out the speed, the loops, the corkscrews, the pinball mechanics, threw them out the window, threw a nuclear bomb on top of them, detonated that bomb, and then said, hey, Sonic, I want to give you this sword. I want you to walk around really slowly, and I want you to fight a whole lot of enemies. The results ain't pretty, and let me put it this way, there's not a single level in this entire package that's even one-tenth as good as any of the daytime missions in Sonic Unleashed. You're always at a dead stop fighting enemies, and it just happens endlessly, and these battles take place via waggle, not gestures, he's not gestures good. apply some sort of calculated he's measure. Knuckles. None of that's going on here. There's no vertical Sonic's or horizontal slicing, it's just shake, 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 and win, win, win. He's so playing as all the characters. One or two niceties, like a cinematic no. lock-on scene. Including some. Because he's not good at you're any not gonna of them. You're not going to enjoy it. that much, because most of the time you're going to be bored, battling enemy after enemy, fighting camera problems, fighting control issues, and just not having a very good time. For all of these reasons and many more, I cannot Those recommend this game to anybody unless you fancy yourself an extremely die-hard, nearly radical Sonic fan. And if you're one of those, well, you've already forgiven a bunch of bad games anyway. Why not add one more to your list? <laughs> For the full written no, review, no. check out IGN. That was actually a pretty fun fight. You really made me angry. I used to like that guy. Who guy? What guy? The guy on the YouTube video. I have milk on my face. So, what did you think about the YouTube video? I absolutely hate it, because to me, Sonic the Black Knight was an amazing game. You just got to learn how to actually use the controls properly. And you also need a quite stable hand, which is probably the reason why some people say it's bad. But you know, but it is actually pretty fast. Sure, it gets rid of some mechanics, 
But that's because to what I think is that his normal moves don't really work as because but we are shown that they do work. It's just they're not as effective. The bags under my eyes are awful, Vander. And why are you recording? Because I thought it would be funny to get your reaction. What did you think when he said, uh, this game will make you kill yourself? He is absolutely wrong. I think some Sonic of Sonic in the circuit ring will kill yourself. Because I haven't even played it, and i just seen the controls. And I'll show you guys. See, if we open to the manual... Oh my god, what have I done? I will say the IGN review... Some of his descriptions were pretty cringe. Oh, you played with the Wii Remote sideways? Yes, and they're also motion controlled. Um, oh, I'm trying to find the camera. Eh. Yeah, you got it, buddy. Which is, which is what I'm seeing by you trying to use sideways and any controller is like really hard. And plus, it's also the opposite direction. Like you want to go right, you have to tell your controller left. That's how flight sticks used to be. Anyway, I'm going to post this on our channel. Okay.